I'm very well, thank you. We're very well, we're very happy to have you today on the on the show, AfroFest. I'm looking oh. forward to asking so many questions about what you're doing. <laughs> Please introduce Thanks. yourself. First of all, introduce yourself. Okay, uh, my name is Atinuke Badmos. I'm a visual artist. I uh, I reside and live in Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> okay, and then um, how does your uh, where you where you stay actually you're in Lagos? How does it influence your art? Um. Okay, I would say um, living in Lagos influenced my heart because of the people around me, the nature of our Lagos is the also and bustle, the people generally, the welcoming and um, they have this drive that keeps them going, you know, they are hardworking and very intelligent people. So it actually inspired me to, this, this Lagos people inspire me to work harder, you know, go wow. for my, you know, <laughs> you can have, you can live in Lagos and not be hardworking. They also in this town is really, really great and inspiring. Thank you. <laughs> wow. And then so, so do you, so, so does that mean that you, you, your main medium is painting or you also do sculpture or you focus on painting? Which okay. Um, I started with painting right now, but now I'm, you know, diving into sculpture and trying to, you know, <laughs> go into that. And I have a few of my pieces that I already did and I'm trying to exhibit very soon. Awesome. So you do, you, do, you are following the hustle. You really, in, you really own it. <laughs> oh my God. Up. This is good. This is amazing. I can see some of your work behind you. We'll come back to that in a few minutes. We'll come back to that. <laughs> um, I'd like to ask you then, what's the, what is the hardest part of creating a painting for you? Um, the hardest part of creating a, a painting for me is when, when I, uh, I lose um, inspiration, when I'm there. You know, as an artist, there are situations where you just, you have this artist block, everything just, mm. you know, you have the idea, but to put them into into put them on canvas is mm. difficult so then i just i just i just take some time off visit galleries and probably i, I love the beach anyway so i go wow. to the beach to relax and you know and the old uh, process and the right medium to use and the right um uh, and the inspiration just keeps flowing after then let me just put it that way so yes. I was going to ask you actually, how do you find your inspiration? But you did start to talk about it, about when you go for a <laughs> walk, when you go to exhibitions. Are there any yes. artists that inspires you on top of that? Um, I would say I love, uh, I have a few artists that inspires me. Anyways, I, uh, I love uh, Ayola's work. I love uh, Jacqueline. I love um, some of the Asian artists as well, like... Um, uh, Picasso, like mm -hmm. uh, Basquiat, yeah, and more. So I go through their work. I read about them, I, uh, and then I get inspiration every day from what um, they've left for us to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the that's the way forward. Actually, you get inspired and you create something new out of it. So, so now I want to talk about your painting behind you. I'd like to know what's the concept behind this beautiful painting. Okay, um, this is one of my recent painting. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's the rhythm, the rhythm, mm -hmm. yes, rhythm, finding your rhythm actually. Because uh, this painting talks about me. It um, and I, I'm sure some people would uh, relate to to this as well. Because there was a time that I could, I was just talk. I could, I didn't know the way forward. I didn't mm -hmm. know. I, I was trying to find my purpose as an artist. Yeah, what is it? people to hear when they when they see my work what mm. what are the messages I want people to know me like people to the identity I want people to know me with you know so it was really difficult finding that rhythm difficult finding my voice difficult mm. it was it was much of a challenge to to actually get here but then <laughs> I thank God I was able to pull through and then I can say I know where I'm, uh, I'm at right now. Ah, that's the most important. As an artist. So I'm sure 
that relate to your finding your purpose as a person? Why are you here? Why yes. are you in those earth too? What what are your purpose as a as an individual? Thank you. Oh, this is lovely. So I was wondering because I could see I, I saw this, you posted it on your Instagram as well. I think. Yes. I saw it on Insta. Mm -hmm. Um a few days ago and then I, and I like the compositions I was wondering how did you come up with this particular composition because I see there is a obviously there is a, a man or yes yeah, it's a man and then and I was wondering what each elements if they had specific meanings to you they do you I tell us about them okay so um this um guitar right here is um it's a symbol of uh, the rhythm yes okay Clearly. A symbol of a rhythm. This is me there, just confused on <laughs> and trying to figure out the next step to take. And I actually have the rhythm in me. I have it there. I just need to go for it. I need to take the bold step to actually know that okay, this is the purpose for me. And this is me moving in circles. <laughs> ah, nice. Okay. In the same move every day and i'm not uh, i don't feel fulfilled mm -hmm. i don't feel like right place so this is me and this is the clock and there's a guy holding the clock telling me that the time is ticking wow. that i need to i need i need to do it now and this is my time so everything put together is just um a way of reminding me that i have it you have to go for it you need to make a move and you need to be heard you have to I have to find that purpose and I need to start now. This is really powerful because the same way you're saying it, you're, talk, you're talking to yourself, it actually yeah. can resonate with me, can resonate with everybody. So that's everybody. really a powerful yeah. you know, uh, work that you've done there. <laughs> Thank you that's so very much. Strong, very strong. So if I was to ask you out of all your pieces, who is your, which one is your favorite one and why? Uh I would say there's another one that speaks about me. It's mm. not here. It's okay. It's about a procrastinator. Okay. You know, it's related to this fighting my reading and I keep procrastinating every day. Like, okay, I'll do this, focusing on things that don't really align with my purpose mm. and does not align with my destiny. And I just keep wasting time. Mm. So I would that's like, my favorite piece at the moment because each time I when I painted that uh, that piece, I it, it was really much of a relief telling telling a story of how what I'm going through at the moment and mm -hmm. how I was and I'm trying to <laughs> be better. <laughs> so I would say it's uh, that particular piece. I'll be posting it soon. So <laughs> thank you. That's wonderful. And then and then would you say? Like, because you, you were talking about purpose. So what do you think is the purpose of your art? What do you want it to, how do you want it to resonate on people? Um, I would say the my purpose is to tell stories mm -hmm. that would affect each individual and that would find maybe not a solution, but would help them out of every situation. Like these two pieces that I told you about, anyone could relate to that. And mm -hmm. if you have such, your house you can just wake up every morning and tell yourself you need to make that move you need to do better you know so i want my piece to not just be something you have in your house but something you wake up to and speaks to you you know give mm. you that inspiration to to just be better so i would say that's um uh that's that's like one of my purpose as an artist <laughs> this is a very strong one and very beautiful one so thank you for that you're giving us thank like wake up calls through your art so that's that's what's needed it shouldn't just yeah. be beautiful it should have a strong meaning and and that's what i love with what you're doing thank it's you beautiful so. and it has meaning <laughs> so um i'm gonna ask you a few more questions i'd like to know how do you stay connected with what's happening in the art world hmm. Okay, um, I stay, I'm much of an introvert, but okay. I network with people that I know are into art and great artists before me. I make sure I follow up next with them and I do reading, you know, 
and that has actually i uh it has helped me so far mm -hmm. i started painting about six years ago and i started doing it professionally say about three years ago so it's a gradual pro uh, process mm -hmm. for me and through those people i'm able to keep on uh, on my feet and learn more every day all right so i will say that oh uh, so you do have a, a I, few mentors do you have a few mentors people that are mentoring you or do you just have like a, or you have a circle uh, of artists? Uh, I have a circle of artists and then I have a few mentors that are not, that are just, um, they are my collectors and they, they are art lovers. Mm. So I have a couple of them that would tell me, okay, this is good, go for it. Why not do this? They would suggest things for me to, to improve my craft. Mm -hmm. And I have artist friends as well that I and then we constantly meet and brainstorm and talk about mm -hmm. art and way forward. So um, I think uh, that's about it. <laughs> well, yeah, Thank that's you. a lot already. That's really good. And um, how do you know when your work, when you finish a, a piece of work, how do you know it's finished? <sighs> <laughs> that's a very <laughs> Because artists, uh, let me tell you, as, as uh, for me, art most of the time I feel they are not finished. You know, when you see that you're painting and you just look at it and you just, you're just like, I think I still need to add more to this. Yeah. So most of the time, you know, you can't really say you're finished for me because there's always something to add. But when I know that um, my art is good enough to be pre uh, presented to people to see, mm -hmm. it's when I know that I've, I've actually put out the meaning and the the information I need people to hear about mm. each piece. I know I'm done. But you know you can never be done because I will still if I should go I write the story, you can still keep going. But then when I know that okay I've, I've like put a lot of information and message in a piece for people to actually understand what I'm trying to say, then mm. I, I'll just good to go. That makes sense. Thank you very yeah. much. And yeah. um, I mean, like, your work is very distinctive. So, uh, what um, I mean, which which artists influence your work? Should I say from the past? Do you have any um, mm. school of thought that is influencing your your work? Okay, um, I'll, uh, I'm not sure about who or what influences my work. Mm. I usually do not. Uh, look at other artists like that but uh, when I have to I look out for more of people that that uh, similar to what I do people that uh, let's say Basquiat for example mm -hmm. I didn't know Basquiat for but then as I started painting people started commenting and referring me to art your work is similar to this person and mm -hmm. then i started you know, and finding more information about him and then i i could i was able to realize that someone i can maybe go to and check some of his work for inspiration mm -hmm. and i read more about him and and i i was able to find some inspirations from his work and i love people that um work traditionally like african artists that mm. um they uh, they love traditions and meet and uh, the old the old craft and techniques because i love um uh, i'm more of uh, this um uh, uh, type of artist i love um traditional and um old <laughs> ancient uh, ancient type of art so i look for this kind of people to actually get inspiration from oh that makes sense yeah i was going to say when i looked at your work that it had like a basquiat feel uh, yes. and sometimes you have some work that has a bit of a cubism you have like a bit of sometimes you do a little bit of a picasso but basquiat definitely <laughs> yeah, yes that's yes. how that thought as well Thank you. And then, um, would you say that, um, how would you say your painting techniques has evolved from when you started painting to now? Mm, I would say it has evolved from, um, 
when it, when I became an artist as a professional, uh, mm -hmm. I was skeptical about the current techniques I have. And uh, I wasn't even bold to put it out there because I wasn't sure of how people would take it or if, it, mm -hmm. if they would love it. So, uh, but then with time, I just, uh, before I was doing landscape abstract, mm. people, but then I just wanted to move from there and find my freedom. So um, I changed uh, to my current style, which is similar to uh, new expressionism. And it's, it's what I enjoy doing now. And people, you know, they just warm up, warmed up to it. And mm. it's been my style since then. And I would say I enjoy doing it. And it gives me, it gives me joy to with each ever, whenever I uh, take my brush to just paint, I, it feels like I'm in my free space. I am able to express myself and just go with the flow. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. That makes sense. And what are you working on at the moment? Are you preparing any exhibition? Are you working on a particular project? Um, I'm just painting at the moment. I'm trying to put together some of my work, but I'm looking at maybe if there's an opportunity for me to exhibit early next year, mm -hmm. maybe do a solo, I don't know, but I'm trying to work towards that and I'm just, I'm just painting. I keep painting. Keep going, <laughs> keep going. That's the way forward. <laughs> Keep going. That that is impressive. That's awesome. And then, do you have the time to do any commission work? Because you you know you must be painting a lot. So, do you also have time to do some commissions? Or you don't. Some people don't. Some people do. I don't know. Yeah, I I do actually. I um, I've done few commissioned works for people, and I work around their ideas and teams most mm. of the times. So, uh, I do. I do. So far, it's related to my style of uh, of art mm -hmm. i go for okay that makes sense and then yeah. um how do you balance your daily life and your life as an artist uh, <laughs> okay the thing is i just fix a schedule for myself instead of just prison studio time at random i try to look ahead uh, in a week and just see what i have to do and i pick a mini full <laughs> chunks of um uh, mm. of I'm, and I just find a way to be there and get it done. And then I just structure this in, in a way and I separate my, uh, my um, work activities from, uh, from my leisure time. So that has been like a pattern for me. Mm -hmm. But when I'm tired, I'm tired. I just <laughs> take I, <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, and then um, how do you, do you, have you ever done like a, like a group exhibition where you had to like work as a binome with another artist? Have you ever, have you ever tried that? Something like that? No, not at all. I haven't. <laughs> it should be a fun thing to try. <laughs> but it should be interesting. But, um, but going back to, I think, I think you gave me quite a few good ideas for creative blocks because that comes a lot and i'd like to know if there is any technique you have that could help people to come out of it so if you do share the love tell us uh, whenever i have that creative block i like i said earlier i like to just take a break you know i take a break. i like to go to, to the beach because i love the ocean so it's refreshing it's like uh, starting afresh. So when I do that, I visit galleries. Mm -hmm. I talk to two of my artist friends. I share ideas with them. And, you know, it just, the old, um, whatever it is I'm trying to work on, it just comes back to me. And that has been like a constant way that I just get out of the artist block most of the time. And I make sure I watch, I watch movies. <laughs> A good one. It's just refreshing. That's a good I one. I watch That's movies. I just watch movies and relax generally, and it comes back to me. But most importantly, I like I love to visit galleries, you know, see people's work. Um, it's, it's refreshing. 
Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing this. And then, um, did you say, did you, man, you, you didn't mention whether you, you studied painting or not? Did you study it? No, I did not. I did not study painting. So you yourself it, thought, that's even, that's even better. You know, I'm like, whoa. So when did you first start drawing then? How, how did you start? Okay. Um, I was working with a real estate firm at some point when I finished school. But when, you know, when it, it's, it, the pay is good, but I was not in my happy place. It was, I was not fulfilling. Mm. So, you know, when you wake up and you go to a job that you're not even excited about. So I had to quit, mm. but then I was in the house for almost a couple of months. I was, I was literally getting depressed and didn't, I didn't know the next step to take or the mm. way forward. But then, you know, art, art has been a part of me right from when I was young. So I, I just picked up my pencil that day because it's what I do when I'm, when I'm, when I'm free, when I, do, I just take, I have paper, uh, books, I just draw, sketch, and, and do all sorts. So that day I just started sketching. So I, I did this particular piece. Then I posted it on my, uh, it was a Snapchat or so. And a few of my friends saw it and like, ah, you this girl, who did this? I said, I did that. Like, so you're this good and you're wasting your talent. Then that just clicked. Mm. And I said, okay, maybe I, I just, this is actually me. This is what, what, what I do when, when I'm happy. I just mm. catch, I do all sorts. So I said, let me just, let me start with this. Then I started Googling, I went to some Pinterest. I went to get canvas. I didn't know how to paint at that point. I was just, I could just sketch a long draw. So that's started like going online, reading on how to mix colors, how to paint, and voila, that was how it all started. I wow. remember selling first space to a few of my friends, and I think I saw even about twenty thousand naira or fifteen thousand naira or so then. But it was really exciting to me because. I could actually sell my work and people appreciated it. Then that was the starting point for me. I was just, I was on it and I kept on learning, reading about painting until I got here. Wow. So that's, yes. That's very inspiring. You see, that's very inspiring. I was even going to ask you to give advice to people like that are starting up. What would you tell them? Uh, I would tell them, if you have it, you have it. If it makes you happy, if it's what you wake up every morning and think of. Because me, I, I would rather be in the house painting most of the time than go out hanging out with friends. <laughs> My wow. friends are tired. Like, you are home painting already. Just, you know what? I enjoy it. If you feel that way as an individual, as an artist, please don't relent just keep going keep pushing keep working you get there because as of today I, I i would say i'm feeling really emotional now because i would say i didn't see myself here say a couple of years ago but i didn't care i kept on painting i kept on you know painting because it gives me joy but it's just really fulfilling now to see how people recognize my work and how people embrace what I what I do and it's so so inspired it's it's so I, I feel happy let me just put it that way so I would tell anyone out there that loves to paint like I do mm -hmm. and you can't just give up don't give up go for it keep pushing keep going the sky is your limit and I'm sure you'll find your recognition one way or the other you'll get out there that's mm -hmm. what happened Thank, Thank you. you so much. This is very powerful. You know, it's very good because, you know, sometimes people, they want to do something, they might be scared, worried, but what you just said is very encouraging. So thank you so much for all that. And I'm thank looking forward to see your work, you know, in an exhibition or a group exhibition. I'm very sure it's going to come soon. I'll be yeah, checking your page. Done already. I did a group exhibition with um, Yenwa Gallery. I think that was April or so. It was uh, for three other artists. Mm -hmm. So it was really, that was my first ever exhibition. <laughs> How did was, you find it? How was it? How did you feel? It was great. <laughs> because, you know, like I said, I didn't, I moved from being an abstract artist to 
just doing me. Mm -hmm. And when I put out this work and I was scared. I can imagine. I didn't know if they would love it or embrace my my style. And to my greater surprise, <laughs> people loved it. Like I literally sold out everything wow. uh, I displayed. And I was, it was just a starting, like it was a change for me. Like I didn't know people would love my work that much. And I didn't know they would love that stuff because I was scared. It was just like, what is this? What's going on? But then it gave me much courage to, mm. do, you know, so I can't wait to have another one with a few amazing artists as well before I do my solo. So of course it makes sense. That is really yeah. impressive, honestly. I think okay, you're doing really well. You're doing very well. <laughs> Um, I also want to ask you, because since you've been interacting with galleries, sometimes you've got young artists that are a bit scared to interact with galleries. Could you advise, give them advice as to how the balance should be for them? Because obviously you shouldn't be taking anything and, and any, just accept anything. What, what guidelines could you give out to young artists? Um, I would say your work will always speak for you. Mm. you have that work and you just have to be to be bold to you know it, it took me a while to get to that level of you know saying that you either love my work or you don't mm. most of the time I always find I always want people to love it I always like look for like maybe they will like it or not but it took me a while to just realize that there's always your kind of people out there there's always your people that will love your work and look for your work mm. so most of the time i get galleries that will come to me they will just literally just come to me like okay your work is good we would like to showcase your work or we'd like to work with you so what i'll say is your people would always find you mm. and if you see a gallery that you like to work just always be bold to walk up to them your mm. confidence is like the most important part of your work you don't let anyone look down your work or talk down on your work. Mm. That is uh, like the most important part. And then again, be on board, not just being bold for nothing, just be bold and be on board too. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's true. Very important to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Well, thank you so much. So that is really all the questions I had to ask you today, but I'm really thankful that you took the time to answer all our questions and we are looking forward to see more of your work. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll keep pushing and I'm sure you, you'll be proud. Oh, so. we're already proud. Well, we, we can only make us prouder and prouder. We're already <laughs> proud of you. Thank you, know? you so much. And especially, you, but... you know, it's, I think in the industry, how do you see the ratio male, male, female? Because I think it's quite male dominated, isn't it? Or how yes. is it in, how is the balance in Nigeria? Uh, I think we women, we are gaining our recognition now because mm -hmm. um, we are not, we're not, re we are so relentless. We're not giving up. We're, and then the fact that our work is speaking for us. So mm -hmm. we're already taking the spotlight now. Before people would see, oh, you're a female artist, okay. But now there are lots of amazing female artists out there and we're really taking up spaces. So I'm sure with time, that it won't be a, a, a situation of, oh, is he a female or not? It would be, oh, is she a good artist? Mm. That would be a situation from, I uh, think, uh, from time to come. So let's just <laughs> keep going. Exactly. And I would say, Shout out to all the female artists out there. I see I see work and uh, let's just keep going because um, the sky is our limit and I'm sure we'll do better things. Oh, Thank you. That is amazing. <laughs> so yeah, it's very important because you know, the world is evolving and then people need to also see that we as well in Africa, all across Africa, we're also evolving because there was this evolving. tendency of putting women in the back and, no. and now Wait. it's not like this anymore <laughs> it's not like that anymore <laughs> not like this anymore so it's really good it's very inspiring especially for the young females that are coming up after you to see you succeed do a good thing they can yeah. they can actually believe in themselves so you guys are role models you've got lots of things on your shoulder you know you know that I hope. <laughs> but it's good <laughs> it was really yeah so much 
at Tinuke for you know sharing your your these moments with us, and uh, we're looking forward to see more of your work. Thank you, guys.